week five of the fantasy baseball season and here's a few pitches i look to sell and trade this week the first pitcher ranger suarez of the philadelphia phillies so ranger suarez the best pitcher in fantasy baseball right now and he's really going out there and he's putting up zeros on the board and five and all on the year 41 innings 1.32 era 0.63 whipping five quality starts in the last couple weeks three and record 24 innings 21 k's and 0.38 era 0.58 whip and three quality starts as Suarez going out there like I mentioned best pitcher in fantasy baseball on a great team that's going to give him a lot of run support and obviously he's come out with a vengeance this season after last season was a tough year with injuries and just bad numbers so the last few games for Suarez while well, his value is at total peak value I think you could get a bat and a decent pitcher in a deal for him right now April 16th versus the Rockies complete game shut out in that one seven hits a walk, AK is the quality start. April 22nd at the Red 7 innings got the win. Two hits, no runs, a walk, 5K is a quality start. And April 27th at the Padres, eight innings got the win in that one. Three hits, a run, AK is a quality start. So Suarez, five games in a row with a quality start. He's really going deep into ball games. And the lefty, he used to be a reliever, obviously, a few years ago, but really changed things up. And now the best pitcher in fantasy baseball in the early going. So right now, while he's on a tear, and pitching way over his head. He's a perfect sell high candidate. And like I said, I'm not saying dump these guys just for anything, but like it ranges warriors, we haven't seen this out of him, especially going this deep into ball games and pitching great. So he's a perfect sell high candidate this week. The next pitcher, Tanner Houck of the Boston Red Sox. I mentioned Houck last week as a sell high on the year 39 and the third, three and two record, 41 Ks of 1.60 ERA, 0.92 whip and five quality starts on the season so Tanner Houck's definitely gone out there and pitched great baseball for this Red Sox team and I know he's a former top prospect a few years ago in the system and last season was a bad year for him with an ERA out of five but so far this season he's pitching great baseball and especially coming off obviously that three hit complete game shutout April 17th in that one versus the Guardians got the win Shut out three hits, no runs, nine Ks, a quality start. April 23rd versus at the Guardians again, six innings, got the loss. Five hits, two runs, three walks, four Ks, a quality start. And April 28th versus the Cubs, six and two thirds, no decision. Four hits, a run, nine Ks, a quality start. So he's pitching great baseball, 23 strikeout, there's three outings here for Tanahaz. But he's another pitcher with a track record that he hasn't been all that great in the major leagues and to be honest he's had good matchups versus the guardians but i know their offense has been decent so far this year but on paper it's not all that great and the chicago cubs have really been struggling so right now while well, he's coming off a solid first month of the year he is tana Houck. he's a so high candidate to me this week i just don't see him keeping it up and no guys could improve as the years go on especially someone like how who's been a top prospect in the system but right now i believe he's pitching at peak value and over his head a little bit. The next pitcher, Tariq Skubal of the Detroit Tigers. The Skubal off to an amazing start on the year. 36 and two thirds, four and a record. 41 Ks at 1.72 ERA, you know, 0.74 whip and four quality starts. The Skubal, last season he was solid, no doubt about it. Seven and three, 80 and a third, 2.80 ERA. And he's picked up where he left off so far this season. And him and Ranger Suarez, it's pretty close. Who's the top pitcher? in fantasy baseball in the early going but Tyreek Skubal he's on the middle of the pack type of team here with this Detroit Tiger team and he's gone out there versus good opponents and pitched well all season but another player peak value and a little bit pitching over his head April 17th versus the Rangers six in the third and that one no decision five hits two runs a walk six K's and the quality start April 22nd at Tampa six innings got the win three hits no runs nine K's a quality start and April 28th Versus the Royals, seven innings, got the win. Four hits, a run of walk, six Ks, a quality starts. I know Scooble pitches in a weak hitting division with the Guardians, Kansas City Royals, Chicago White Sox, worst team in the league, obviously. But this Tiger team, they're not a team that's scoring a lot of runs this season. I know they were off to a pretty decent start to start the year, but I just believe Scooble, the numbers are going to fall off a little bit, and he's not going to keep it up at this pace. So right now, like I said, well, he's up there. He's the top pitcher. Him of Ranger Suarez so far in the early going. He's a so high pitcher this week. Next pitcher, George Kirby of the Seattle Mariners. This is Kirby. The last couple weeks, he's really turned things around. And since he's thrown the baseball out of the strike zone a little bit, where he's starting to make hitters try to chase, where he's been too much 
in the strike zone is where he's got trouble on the year three and two record 32 and third 38 k's a 4.1 80 ra 1.11 whip and three quality starts but the last couple weeks 18 innings 2 and 0 record 25 k's one era 0.78 whip and two quality starts at kirby he's attacking the zone a little less making people try to chase a little bit more and his breaking stuff has been working no doubt about it but like i said kirby too many pitches in the strike zone and coming off that's the game versus the national league champions last season he's a so high candidate just off that game i believe kirby i know he's a former top prospect obviously in the seattle system he's had some decent years to start his major league career but tough division with good hitting teams obviously like houston and the texas rangers april 15th versus the red six innings got the win five hits two runs six k's of quality start april 21st at the rockies five innings no decision five hits no runs a walk seven k's and april 27th versus the diamondback like i said he pitched a gem seven innings got the win two hits no runs a walk 12 k's of quality starts are coming off that ball game versus the national league champs here he's a sell high candidate to me just off that Kirby, though, he's got great upside, no doubt about it. But just like I said, tough division has been inconsistent so far in the early going. And coming off two out of three good outings, I would sell him high this week in the fifth and final pitch. I look for selling trades. Showed, hey, Imanaga of the Chicago Cubs. So Imanaga, he's taking the league by storm coming from Japan. And he's pitched better than Yamamoto so far going into the season. So Yamamoto, we know, got the 12 for 325. Imanaga, he got a decent deal. But not anything close to obviously Yamamoto. So on the year 27 and two thirds, 4 0 record, 28 Ks, a whopping 0.98 ERA, 0.80 whip, and three quality starts. So even Nag has gone out there and he's been an ace to the Chicago Cubs staff. And I know he's not going that deep in the game. Six, six and a third at most, and he's pitching great baseball. Teams are going to start seeing Imanaga a little more. There's going to be more tape on him as well. I don't believe he's going to keep up these elite numbers. And I know he's a southpaw. And the lefties, they've had a lot of success so far this season. We saw what's war is in school bowl, who I mentioned in this video. Now, Ibanaga as well, April 13th at Seattle in that ball game. Five and a third got the win. Five hits, no runs, two walks, four Ks. April 20th versus the Marlins, six innings got the win. Five hits, two runs, five Ks, a quality start. In April 26th at the Red Sox, six and a third got the win. Five hits, a run, a walk, seven Ks. A quality start to Imanaga so far this season. He's had some pretty solid matchups and good matchups versus weak hitting teams, which I think he's taken advantage of. Not a lot of teams, like I said, have seen tape on him. And right now, well, he's playing great baseball. He's a perfect sell high candidate. Because like I said, the more he pitches, the more I think teams are going to start hitting him. And also as well, he's not a high K rate guy, even going back to Japan. And so far this season, only about 1K per inning. So Imanaga pitching great, no doubt about it. I think you could get a legit bat in the deal. So that's a few pitches I'd look to sell and trade for week five of the fantasy baseball season.